So things are exciting in the world of Linux gaming in terms of like driver updates, testing, and all sorts of craziness. We've got some different graphics cards that we've been testing. Yeah, it's uh, it's been pretty interesting to try uh, these different cards. Um, I, I put them through a gamut of uh, three games. Uh, we tried uh, Bioshock Infinite, Rocket League, and um, Civilization VI. Let's start with the 1080. So the 1080. Yeah, we tested a 1080, not a TI, but I don't have the 1080 box. So you get the Triforce GTX MSI, whatever. <laughs> Just to be clear, because somebody's going to be like, well, actually, that was. It's like. You'd actually get 10, 15, 10 or 15 <laughs> frames per second more if you uh, had the t TI. No, uh, so the with the 1080, what happened was uh, um, it had the best color depth out of all the. Um, out of all the cards we tried, and uh, which is kind of weird, it's unexpected. Like, yeah, capturing the video, like we're and we didn't even notice that until later, where we were ca comparing the video capture, and it's like, wait, what's going on with this one? Right, it was it was strange because, and the thing is, like with benchmarking, I I made a video a couple months ago talking about benchmarking and why I don't think it's super relevant to actually having fun, and uh, the reason that I say that is because. I wouldn't. I I was playing these games and and testing them out, um, and I didn't notice until I got all the footage together and assembled in Caden Live that I realized, oh hey, the, the color colors depth are is different. different. And well, we should probably go over why we picked these three cards. So these are the two flagship cards, obviously, and then we've also got the Strix Fury. Now, what's going on with the Strix Fury? So the Strix Fury uh, has the open source. Uh, drivers in the kernel, which is really cool. Well, Vega does too. Now Vega does point. too. That's true. At this point, but this with the thinking was this one is maybe more well supported because it's older. Because that's how it rolls right. on, on Linux. And uh, I, I think our testing showed that it is more uh, supported. We had, uh, I think it was probably thirty to forty frames a second more with the uh, with the. The Strix Fury. The Strix Fury. I'm not good with names. <laughs> the Asus Strix Fury, which is the previous generation card from AMD, and that's probably owing to optimization. And that was testing at 1920 by 1080 mm -hmm. in Bioshock Infinite on Linux. Right. And uh, the same held true uh, for uh, Rocket League as well, uh, Most for, for the most part. Uh, the, the weird thing about the Vega card was that it ended up um, having the highest frames per second but also the most extreme change. So you would, within the same session of, you know, within five minutes, you'd have you'd go from something like 30 frames a second to 260. <laughs> and it, I mean, that has to do with the fact that it's not, it doesn't have great support in the- It's uh, not ready yet. Right, it's not ready yet, exactly. <laughs> um, I think basically what my decision is gonna boil down to is uh, what I can get a good deal on. Um, Generally, I'm leaning towards the open source uh, cards that, you know. Because it's in the kernel now. Because it's in the kernel, and that's exciting as hell. Not having to mess with, like, the the uh, PPA for Xorg edgers. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I, I don't like doing that. That ends up breaking my installation. Uh, but, yeah, it, this is pretty cool and exciting. I think I'm leaning towards Team Red. Well, now, I did install the Paducah PPA on your machine for proper support for the Vega 64. So we were compiling, you know, LLVM 5.0, the latest yeah. version of Mesa from Git. And that really, because at first we were having some stability problems with Vega. I mean, this was not an easy installation by any stretch of the, of the imagination, even on U Ubuntu, because, yeah. you know, Ubuntu's got the package driver or whatever stuff. And no, we just, we went with AMD GPU, native in the kernel. We did enable DC uh, uh, AMD GPUs, DC equals one for the Fury because by default that is disabled. So these two cards were using the same graphics pipeline um, for that test. And of course the NVIDIA requires a proprietary blob. You're not gonna be doing any of this with, with Nouveau. Mm. Now the performance on Civ, 60, on Civ 6 was actually really, really good with the Vega 64, but the culled polygons issue is still there. And actually performance had gone down since the last time I, te I tested it. Performance had gone, gone down significantly. Yeah. And the polygon problem was not as bad as it was the last time I tested it, but it still wasn't great. Yeah, uh, there's. You're probably seeing footage of it right now. I mean, it's. Uh, it's not. I mean, what's happening? I would say that the game isn't playable in, its, <laughs> in that state. <laughs> it's probably it's playable-ish. Yeah, I mean, 
if you if take one for the team, blind, you can play it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you have really bad eyesight and you take your glasses off, maybe you could play it. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, I I think support should roll out for Vega at some point, and and that's pretty cool. I yeah. mean, the the fact that like y- your hardware gets you know more supported over time and that it just comes to your your computer naturally through software updates i mean that is just super cool to me well it's not yet the case that there are uh, gamers out there spending millions of dollars you know itching to play the latest stuff on uh on linux but we're getting there we may be we may be small in number but we are loud in volume. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> and we also never forget anything, so oh, we don't. Forget. We will remember. We will remember the code forty threes, and we will remember the binary blobs. Mm. So one of the things that uh, I noticed is that the uh, R nine actually outperformed the ten eighty in most cases, <laughs> which was pretty cool. Shocking, it's, it's shocking, and interesting. Um, it was generally on the order of uh, uh, about 10 frames a second. But still, I mean, that's not nothing to shake a stick at, you know? Yeah. That's a saying, right? Close in some cases, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was pretty close. I mean, all things considered, it was really close between these three cards. Um, and it's generally down to, like, what you want in your system. Yeah. And, uh, and I think, you know, I'm leaning towards Team Red. And I think that's... Uh, Pretty exciting because if you asked me like two years ago, <laughs> would I that have even been... be possible? Yeah, yeah. right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Nvidia still wins with the installation of the binary blob, although the installation on Fedora is a little tricky. The installation on Ubuntu was a lot easier. There's actually a, I didn't even download the binary blob directly from Nvidia. I added the uh, the repository, and that was able to install the blob, and then I just rebooted, and it's fine. On, on Fedora, um, it's still a largely manual process. That's guaranteed to work correctly. Was that sarcasm? Well, (laughs) (laughs) Uh. so there you have it. I mean, for 2018, Team Red or Team Green both look pretty good for the Linux platform. I mean, they have they have their different struggles. They have their they have their different strong points. Uh, There's not a perfect solution, but things are. I mean, the things have definitely improved on. The uh, the AMD landscape, I would say. Yeah, and I think that's really exciting. I mean, like I said a couple of years ago, I don't think it would be possible to be a serious gamer on Linux with an AMD card. Yeah. Like a serious hardcore one. And it sounds like the card that you're looking for is probably going to be either the 1070 Ti or the Vega 56, whatever, yeah. whatever you can get the best deal on. Right. It's really going to be uh, what I can get a deal on. So... Um, I have no uh, expectation of getting like the highest end thing, and really, I don't think that represents what gamers on Linux are using. Because yeah. well, the Steam would... hardware survey says most people are using a 480 or less, like a RX 480 or like a 1060 or less. Right. Well, and if you're doing 1080p gaming, that's all you need or less. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I just invested in a new monitor, and it's 1080 maximum, and it's like that's fine. I, you yeah. know, well, you can almost get by with Raven Ridge if it's 30. FPS, but eh, let's Vega 56. Uh, yeah, Vega 56. <laughs> cool. Well, I've had a lot of fun hanging out with you. and uh, It has been sets. a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. I, I've enjoyed it as well. Cool. Um, I, I think uh, we might try and get you on uh, with the uh, Linux Game Jam that's coming up. Oh, you yeah, the Game a, Jam. Uh, yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. I'll get, we'll, we'll have uh, uh, Wendell here as a guest judge, and it should be really cool. Programmers really don't like me because I'm hard on them. <laughs> So maybe that, that that might end badly, but okay, sounds good. It's like now explain to me why you did this. It's like it's like the, literally the pie may of programming instructors. That's it's real bad. It's real bad. Cool. <laughs> HR people hate him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll be a story for another time. All right, we'll see you later. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>